Howdy all. Oh, it's bloody cold in this shed, I can tell you that. Oh, I haven't done a video for a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna, I wanted to do a, a really good review on an absolutely amazing gun that I got. Oh shit, this is still wet. Um, an absolutely amazing gun, which I've had now for 12 months. Um, but it's pissing down rain outside and I can't get out there and, oh, anyway. Let me present to you the Lithgo LA10122 Walnut Stock Black Cerakote made in Australia. It this gun is absolutely amazing. So I've had heaps of 22s over the years, and I must tell you that this this is uh, this is amazing. It's an amazing gun, and I'll tell you why it's amazing. Oopsie. <laughs> right. Why it's amazing. Why this gun is amazing is because of the, the quality of the engineering and the accuracy of this gun for the money that you pay is I don't think you can get anything better. Uh, I've had Marlins, Sterlings, uh, which aren't too bad. Like, they're only cheap things, Sterlings. Um... What are savages? They're all right, you know. They're nothing, nothing flash or anything like that. Um, but you, you kind of, you, if you're trying to get this awesome amount of accuracy, um, you've usually got to pay for it, and accuracy costs money, right? So I, I love shooting twenty two target. So I've gone. There's a couple of guns that I'll, I'll, I'll well, actually, I've just sold all my twenty twos a while back. And I thought, right, I'm going to buy myself two 22s. I need one just for general, just a bit of hunting around the farm and whatever else, just carrying around in the truck. Uh, and I wanted to get another one, a really good high-end um, general purpose 22 for, for mainly target shooting and, you know, maybe some long distance shots and stuff like that. So what I had chosen was either a Virac HW66 Jag Match, or a Anschult 1700 series. Now that was going to be my target, target 22. And for just a general knock around 22, I was going to, I don't know, I was going to probably just look at getting, um, oh, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of Savage because they feel so, you know, just real agricultural feeling. But they're all right, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. But I was probably just going to get, just maybe get a second hand five or six hundred dollar knock around 22. So, um, I've gone to the gun shop, big gun shop in Sydney, and uh, I spoke to the old fellow there, he knows who he is, and he's a mad 22 head. And I told him what I wanted to do achieve. And he said to me, Matt, I'm going to give you some advice, and it's up to you whether you take it. He said, I'll take your money if you want to spend two guns, there's no doubt about that. He said, But if you're after some really, really good accuracy, and you're also after a good knock around gun, he says, I would honestly try an LA-101 first. He said, they're about 1200 bucks, so it's about, nearly, oh, it's about oh, half or maybe a bit more, two and a half times less than a, a decent Virac or a H or a um, Anschutz 1700 series. He said, but, he said the build quality and the accuracy of them is so far above everything else. He said it, it's 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 that far, it's it's that far behind those top end European guns. That's it. And he said, just your average run of the mill one will be that far. But if you get a good one, it'll shoot with them all day. And it's only twelve hundred bucks. I've gone, yeah, you know what? Twelve hundred bucks. It's about double what I wanted to spend on a knock around gun. I thought, shit, screw it, why not, I'll buy one. So I bought it first, on his advice. Uh, got this thing home, cleaned it, barrel, uh, and started shooting some bullets through it. And straight off the bat, I knew that this was pretty damn accurate. I'm just talking, you know, with hollow point hunting things. Uh, and then I thought, right, uh, let's try some, uh, let's try some bloody um, decent quality target ammo. So I started buying a few of those. And I got to the point where I found what this thing loves. And it's Ely Match. 
you know, the black packet of uh, Ely Match 22s. This thing shoots, um, I would say, it, well, I, it's a sub half inch at 50 metres. When I say sub half inch, I'm talking every hole is touching itself 50 metres. You bastard of a thing, because they're like $20 a packet of 50, which is not too bad for, you know, for realistically, but it loves them. And you know what? I haven't bought my target rifle, and this is a year on, because I don't need a target rifle now, because this damn thing just shoots lights out 50 metres, 75 metres, you know, it's 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 definitely half inch. Um, and when the conditions are right, you know, it'll hold half inch uh, at 75 metres. Obviously, with being a 22, a little bit of breeze and all that sort of stuff, it opens, they all open up. So, yeah, long story short, I have, I've gone from wanting to get two guns, a top end target style, a target rifle, uh, and, a, and a, just a knock around truck gun. I've got an LA 101 Lithgo. Now, um, when I like a light trigger, um, and these come with a just an average run of the mill weight. I didn't I wasn't real fond of that, but I bought um a trigger kit. I think it was on eBay. And it was I don't know, it was nothing. It was like twenty dollars or something. Uh and I installed it myself and now it's really it, it's still I could I could like it lighter, but it's it's not bad, you know what I mean? And I'm talking I'm coming from FX and Virax with fully adjustable match triggers and stuff. So that's, so I've just been real picky, but but um, most guys that have used this gun, um, and it's blown away everybody that's that's had a go, but they've just gone, wow. Uh, most guys have said, no, nah, trigger's great. And they're, they're hunters that are saying that, so they like the trigger. So that's something to consider. Um, so that was like a $20 add-on. Um, and I just got this little, you know, this little screw-on knob. I think I got that off. Actually, the same guy that made the trigger kit. So I got them off that, and I just put that on because I like a nice big knob there, you know. Um, so that's all I've done to this gun. And um, I'll, I'll tell you what I do like. I like the five-shot lightweight magazine, exactly the same uh, magazine uh, as an Anschul. So I'm led to believe. So you can get, like, ten-shot ones and that sort of thing. But really easy to load. It's only plastic, but it's... Uh, man, I've pumped some bullets through this thing. And it seems to be nowhere, never had a jam. The action is really good. Like, this is what you pay for, that type of machining. It's not, like, you know, you get, like, your cheaper guns, like your Marlins and, and even your Savages, all right? So they're just a bit scrapey, bit scrapey, you know. And, and after a trillion shots, they get a bit... This thing out of the box is just, it's like, it's so beautiful. It's predictable. It's every time you do it, it's exactly the same. So that's what I like. Um, I like the thread on the end, which is a half inch U and F. Uh, I like that because I've got a, a few, um, what they call air strippers, so you can actually adjust your air length um, just for target shooting. They're not silencers, they're just called air strippers. Um, I've tried a couple on this, this particular one, the air strippers that I've got, this gun doesn't like them, so I just leave it like this. But any of you guys in different countries that um, are allowed to have suppressors, I mean, that's a great little option. So there. Um, so I'll tell you what else I love. I love the black Cerakote. The black Cerakote is amazing. Like this thing, uh, you know, you get your hands all over it, sort of greasy, and you're not worried about getting rust and stuff like that on your on your barrel, which so that's really good. Um, now I chose the walnut stock uh, because it is absolutely scrumptious, there's no doubt about that. Um, and I'm not gonna pay big money for a, um, a laminate stock, never have. Some blokes love that, but I've just never gone down that path. I'm a traditional wood stock man, except for if it's a really nice laminate stock. Uh, sorry, really nice, um, synthetic stock and I'm talking uh, anyone that's ever had their hands on say like an FX Royale or something like that or an FX Boss where it's got that kind of rubberized feel and it's not hollow it's just a good solid thing. they're nice I don't particularly like the Lithgo um, synthetic stock to me it just doesn't it just 
it feels I don't know it, it just doesn't feel as nice as what I'm used to so um, but some like for guys that are just going to bash around in the rain and stuff probably will be perfect but anyway look I can honestly tell you this is an absolutely beautiful um, beautiful stock so nice fat barrel too straight out of the straight out of the bloody box and beautiful um, I like I like when your your magazine goes in it's really easy to get your finger there's like a little recess there little recess I like that because you can get your you can get your hands in there bang and drop that mag out some guns have real fiddly mag release um, this bang it's out you know it's no, nothing fiddly well, I can you know just bang it's out so I like that all right so like I said, I'd love to do some target shooting, and I will. Actually, I might call this, I might call this the LA101 review part one, which is in the shed, freezing cold, raining outside, and then when it stops raining, we might set up outside there and um, and, and run some targets and that sort of stuff. And uh, just for you, just for you guys, I'm going to show you. Uh, which bullet this thing actually likes. So this is them here. Uh, Ely Match. They're a um, they're an English bullet. And they're really like a really waxy sort of a feel. Um, just a solid point. Um, and, and my particular gun likes them. And you know it's so strange. This is the thing about 22s that a lot of people that are just getting into them they don't understand. Um, a 22. Is a temperamental little bastard. They, you, you could get um, the exact same gun as this from I don't know somewhere else, but just and try and put some bullets through it, and it may not like these. Um, I've got a mate that's got a uh, a Bruno, Bruno. I think it's a Mark II twenty two. We're fairly old school twenty two. It just loves these Winchester, Winchester Power Max. Um, hollow point hunting bullets and it does like half inch groups at 50 meters with a hunting bullet you put these things in it you put these things in it and it sprays them it sprays them like a dead set shotgun so anyway so so there are temperamental little things 22 so the you know the story is if you're interested far out what am i doing if you're interested in um, finding out what your gun likes the best thing to do is if you've got any mates that have got you know different variants of 22 bullets, just borrow a, a pack or something or half a pack or 10 bullets. I don't like put five through and say, ah, I don't like that. You put 10 through and then that'll give you a good sort of an idea. Um, obviously you have to buy a heap of bullets yourself and just, just find out what it likes. And then once you do find out what it likes, stick with them. Yeah. All right. See you when it's not raining and uh, we'll set up and get some nice little groups, and I'll show you what this thing can do. Um, I've seen a review from 22 Plinkster, and he said it was the, the most accurate 22 that he's got. That's pretty good saying coming from him, especially when you know that he has an affiliation, well, very tightly wound with Savage uh, and CCI. So I don't think you can actually get a better rap than someone that's kind of affiliated with someone else, and they're giving this thing a big rap. So... Um, yeah, my advice to anyone that's looking for a 22, if you're in that seven, eight hundred dollar range, save a bit longer, save another four hundred dollars, get, get yourself twelve hundred bucks, get yourself one of these. You will not be sorry. See ya on the range.